hi welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial we are going to compare the mode superposition method to full solution method for harmonic analysis and also we will investigate the effect of damping and phase angle on solution so let's start so first we are going to create a stand alone system for model and then harmonic response here we are going to use up to solution so here we will so this will be mode superposition method we are using this uh, model inputs to harmonic response analysis okay now we are going to import geometry okay now we have imported geometry then we are going to double click on model so here we can see the this beam size is 3 meter by 0.5 meter into 25 mm is the thickness and uh, it is fixed at uh, both end here first what we are going to see we are going to check units units we are going to keep it in metric and uh, you can see here in geometry this is a surface surface geometry here so we are going to provide a thickness of 25 mm and also we are going to check material so this is made up of a structural steel here and material is also material is also applied we are going to insert fixed supports select both edge apply so like uh, the mode shifts and uh, frequency whatever we are going to obtain from this model analysis it will be used in a harmonic response calculation so we want to make sure we have captured sufficient uh, frequency content during the model analysis so whatever it, one thumb rule it is there like uh, to extract mode uh, in compassing 1.5 times of the excitation frequency so in this case uh, the machine operates at 50 hertz so we will take 1.5 times of 50 hertz so that is 75 hertz so we are going to define a range here in an analysis setting so we are going to limit search to range so here we will click on yes and range maximum we are going to put 75 hertz okay and number of modes we are going to take six that is okay now we can solve this model so now it has been solved and if you go to solution so within 50 hertz the two frequency are there so okay we are going to select all create mode shape results now we are going to evaluate all results okay so that deformation we can get deformation and the behavior we can see here So this is in y direction and for second one you can see this one third one is more than 50 hertz so we are not going to take this uh, so we are not going to give this uh, more importance this is clocking about z axis okay so now we are going to this harmonic response analysis 
So input it is taking from model analysis here and uh, in here then there is no need to go make a fix because it is taking from the model analysis itself. So only we are going to put uh, apply we are going to apply a force of 250 Newton y direction at uh, at both edge that was seen here this one and this one. So insert force geometry first one we are going to if you click here you can use this one to apply okay vector to components in y direction 250 okay this is first force second force also we are going to introduce vector to component 250 newton okay now we, we will click on analysis setting here we are, we can see the range we have to define so range we are going to define up to 50 hertz and solution interval interval means uh, 0 to 50 there will be 10 intervals but we are going to increase it by 50 okay 50 interval we have put here and also you can see solution method that is mode superposition so also we are going to define a damping ratio of 2% damping ratio of 0 0.2 0 0.02 Now, now we are going to solve this. Okay, so like fifty intervals means uh, up to like one to fifty. We have set like fifty frequency, one two three four like that. Okay, then what we will do here? So like uh, we have first we will see in model analysis like uh, where we can expect uh, maximum deformation and in which direction if you see in like a total deformation here. So this is in y direction we can get here y direction at 14.718 frequency and second one is at 40.732 frequency hertz frequency and that is also in y direction so okay so what we are going to do here we are going to insert frequency response here insert frequency response for deformation so deformation and we are going to take uh, this surface this surface we are going to take apply and we are going to change this resolution to maximum Okay, and directional deformation orientation will be in y direction. Okay. Now we are going to evaluate result for the frequency response plot. Evaluate all results. So here we can see
so here it is showing uh, uh, 15 hertz of uh, if you remember in model analysis it was showing 14 point something so but here it is showing 15 so here uh, in the next uh, tutorial we will modify this um, a mode superposition method how we can refine okay thank you for watching please like and subscribe my youtube channel